If you're really serious about YouTube and you want to grow your channel, then watch this guide and then let us know in the comments below what you're going to test on your YouTube channel. <sighs> Let's do this. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Let's get you where you need to be by clicking on your profile image and going to the YouTube studio. From here, navigate to the analytics screen. You'll see two links here that take you to the same place, those being advanced mode or see more. Now, over on the left-hand side of this screen, you will see your channel name. Click that and you'll see this pop-up and from here you want to click on the groups tab. So yeah, this hidden pop-up when you find it almost feels like a YouTube Easter egg. But what it's going to allow you to do as a creator is test absolutely anything you want on your channel. These YouTube groups are not public, so viewers won't be able to see them as they do a playlist. It's not going to interrupt their watching habits, but it allows you to test the most minute changes on your videos to see what works so that you can go forward with the best content on your channel. Let's set one up. First thing we need to do is create a group and we're going to call this group Thumbnails with Faces. We can then search through our entire channel and add as many videos as we wish. So in this example, we're going to pick five videos which have a face on the thumbnail. Once you've added all your videos to the group, make sure to save it. And I bet you can guess what we're going to do next. Create a group of videos where there are no faces in the thumbnail. Do note that you can search for videos by their ID and the maximum number of videos in one group is 500. Once you have these groups set up, you can view all of the advanced analytics for them, which is really useful in itself. But we can take all of this one step further. On the right hand side of the screen, there is a compare to function, which allows you to compare groups. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. Compare the group of videos with faces in thumbnails versus those without. Already at a glance, we can see from this sample size that video thumbnails that don't contain faces appear to perform better. But if we want, we can adjust the metric. Let's check out impressions to click through rates. Once again, it's a clear win for no faces. That's cool. It's fine. Nobody likes my face. Where my audience leads, I follow. <laughs> Fixed. But in all seriousness, in a space of just 90 seconds of effort, we've learned something incredibly valuable about our channel, which is one of the reasons why this video doesn't have my face plastered all over the thumbnail. Now, we've just shown you one idea there of comparing videos with different types of thumbnails, but you could take this in any direction you want. So here are another couple of ideas. You could group videos by certain metadata, having something consistent in the title. Maybe it's how to or more subscribers in our case. You could set groups by video length, say five minutes. Do videos under five minutes work better than videos over five minutes? You'd be surprised at the potential answers to that, especially with educational content. If you still haven't nailed down your channel niche or focus, then you could try grouping videos by topic or style. That might be beauty and travel, or it might be products, reviews and vlogging. If you create a group of 10 videos of each of those topics, you'll get your answer from your audience pretty quickly as to what they prefer to watch on your channel. You could also group your videos by the month that they were published. So you may discover that all of the content that you create between April and July is a bit of a lean period for your channel, whereas all of the content you make coming up to Christmas, say October to December, is your boom period. Now, once you've created these groups of videos, just be cautious of outliers. There may be a group of videos where one of the videos in that group is contributing more than 50% of the views or the impressions because it's just a uh, viral video for you. You'll have to trim those out of your analysis. Now we do have one more thing to show you and that is a cool way that vidIQ groups videos for you. The channel audit tool quickly breaks down the success of your channel into groups. So if you want to know which videos gain your channel the most subscribers or which videos have the most engagement or the highest watch time, we can quickly tell you. The channel audit tool also shows you what you're doing wrong on your channel and things to fix such as missing end screens on videos. You can start using the channel audit tool for for free, like many parts of vidIQ, there is a download link below me right now. And I have one final question for you. Now you know how to create YouTube groups, what are you going to start checking on your channel? Let us know in the comments below and enjoy the rest of your video making day.